Hello, welcome to week 10 of your course in flight simulation for unmanned aircraft systems at Warren County Community College. And we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to change things up a little bit today and put you to the test, if you will. Um, so instead of kind of doing exercises that we're making up, we're going to use some built-in challenges in your real flight software. And again, your software might be slightly different depending on which version you're using. Any of the real flight software from 7 on will be effective uh, for what you're trying to do here. So here we are. We're at the front stage. You can see we still have the slinger up. That's not going to work for us here. Uh, but we'll change this relatively simply. So we're going to hit fly. And I'll have to let that go and crash. And then we're going to figure out, are we beginner, intermediate, realistic? Remember, this is here is in your simulation physics, if you didn't remember. So let's leave it on beginner for now. Now, what we want to do now is we're not going to pick an airport. We're not going to pick a um, aircraft as much as we're going to do a challenge. So we're going to go to where it says challenges. You're going to select the challenge. And there's all kinds of things we can do in the challenges. You can feel free to do some things on your own. There's scavenger hunts, uh, ring races. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to do and have you do is quadcopter trials. So make sure you start on level one. Uh, if it's software is new out of the box, it should automatically take you there. But if you've tried this or, or something before, make sure you go back to level one. And each level will open as you successfully complete one of the former levels. And ultimately, your goal in this week's session is to complete all of the levels uh, in the challenge and to let your instructor uh, see that either through video live in the classroom or through a virtual program like GoToMeeting. So we're going to start at level one. And you'll see these challenges come up. And I hit fly, and we have to be ready to go. So it's going to tell you, this is the level one quadcopter trials challenge. Right now, the high score is 62 out of 100 in 9 minutes and 48 seconds. So uh, not the greatest. Uh, some levels require you to fly your quad through one or more gates. This is one of those levels. So what you're going to do here is you're going to fly through a gate. So you'll have a few seconds. You'll have to take off. You'll notice this is a little bit more challenging because a lot of the altitude hold and visuals. But your goal is to quickly, and I'm kind of fooling around here a little bit, quickly get through that level. So you have to fly forward. You'll have to yaw. Notice how fast the yaw. Notice how fast the altitude is. So it is quite the challenge for you to go here. And then as soon as you kind of get your bearing, and you'll have to practice. And you'll start to notice you're gonna your goal is just to fly through and then it's gonna give you a score. So as you can see, that was a because I've spent so much time talking, a pretty horrible score of 34 out of a hundred. Okay. And it took 33 seconds rather than nine seconds. Um and and you'll have to beat a score um to earn a perfect score a hundred. Uh, so the best score. So you're competing against yourself in these. And as you complete one, you'll see it moves you to the next level. So um, this is where you land on a touchpad. And this is one of those levels. So again, you're going to count down. You're going to try to maintain some degree of control. You'll notice the green pad there. Try to do this in a straight and level flight. And remember to so a little bit to use that shadow. Remember I taught you about that shadow. And then you see I overshot. So you got to use that shadow effectively. Fly around. And you will be timed. Because I'm trying to show you. So you only have a certain amount of time to do these. So if you're kind of moving around here. You're not going to hit it. And you can see. You can hit the side or you can hit the center. Obviously, what you're trying to do is hit the center. Okay. And the best time to earn a perfect score is two seconds, 0.5. 
And you can see on this particular computer, the best time anyone has ever scored is 12 seconds. So again, because I'm talking to you, that's 44 seconds, I'm trying to give you a sense. And again, you'll just continue through all of the levels in this uh, sequence uh, to get through and record your scores. So this time you're not going to make a video, obviously, of what you've done. But what you are going to do is record your, your, your best scores. Uh, in your best time and then let the instructor know so you're not going to be graded on a hundred point scale it's again it's really to test you and the nice thing about this challenge is the drone isn't like the ones will fly in the course with the gps and all the controls on it this will be as if you were flying the aircraft without a lot of those assisting controls and so it'll be much more difficult and remember, this will happen to you at some point in real life when you're doing a mission. Now, you may not be doing a challenge, obviously, but your GPS may go out. Uh, you may experience computer glitches in the live world. So having this experience of flying this level of difficulty uh, and the difficulty level of our previous lesson with the Slinger drone is really important because this is what you've built to. You've built up your skills for this moment to give yourself the best chance of scoring well in the challenge here so this is this week's assignment to move through have a lot of fun this should be fun it should be challenging it should be frustrating all those things uh involved uh, for you and as you can see if you spend a lot of time talking to somebody and not a lot of time concentrating your scores are going to be worse than you would normally do so have a good time we'll see you in the next lesson